Hi folks, this is Mike with Eminem Precision Painting, the channel dedicated to showing you what the pros know so you can do it yourself. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how we stop peeling paint. The house we're on here is over 100 years old, so it's a really good example for that. Stay tuned, but before you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot, folks. So here we go. All right, guys, so here's the house. <laughs> we got two airlesses going. We're using 515 high efficiency airless tips, and we are spraying on Peel Bond, is the product we're using. <laughs> it's be right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but <laughs> yeah, this is it right here Prime RX Peel Bonding Primer. It's, from, it's a product for Sherwin Williams. But this house is extremely old, you guys. It's over 100 years old. And here's the historic plaque. This thing's been moved on several several occasions. Look at that. 1909. Originally built in 1900. Wow, it's crazy. Moved this whole thing several times. So anyways, today's video is about peeling paint and how we're gonna stop it. So. What we do anyways to stop peeling paint, as you can see, this thing's in pretty bad shape. All right, you guys, so this is what we're dealing with. Um, you get a lot of, it's called alligatoring or crocodiling on these really old houses. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. And then, of course, you got this where it's peeled around nail holes and whatnot. And again, the product we're using is called Peel Bomb Primer RX. And it does a really good job. I think it goes on about 30 mils wet. Um, and what we'll do is normally is we'll take, we'll put one coat on, let it dry, put another coat on and you got a pretty thick millage and the stuff is almost elastic when it dries. So you can see this place is in really rough shape. So it's extremely pliable. So it, it doesn't give in to, you know, those constant fluctu fluctuations, uh, of your substrate, you know, the, uh, the constant expansion and contraction relative to weather. So. You guys just stay tuned and I am going to show you exactly how we fix these and kind of the steps and hopefully I'll show you guys the end product. All right guys, so things you're going to need is this uh, simple scraper. You can use a uh, putty knife, whatever. This is a five in one. These are pretty cool. Two edge, shout out. Don't get paid. These are cool. Anywho, got a little brush. Usually use garbage brushes for this peel bomb primer. Got a little two gallon bucket. You can work out of a gallon if you want. Um, so this, the essential step is I just want to scrape any of this loose paint off as you guys can see we've pretty much already done it and uh you know the process is pressure wash let it dry out that paint likes to curl up so don't forget to let your your siding or whatever dry out before you go scraping it plus if your wood's wet it's gonna raise the wood and you're gonna get a really horrible look or you're gonna have to come back and sand it all down that being said we've been through all those steps so this step is if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're not <laughs> all you gotta do is scrape it scrape anything off and i don't know if you guys can see how thick this product is look at that Just shut it's off. like elmer's glue so what we'll do is we'll take the product and we'll put it on nice and thick like this guy right here and you don't want to like leave goops and brush marks like this you want to just finish your paint off or your brush strokes off and make it really light and we're going to do two coats of that but that's and see i don't know if you guys can see but i'm feeling all these hairline cracks things of that nature and then we'll tackle this big guy down here <laughs> see how it fills all those hairline cracks in that trim and the normal mode of operandus is uh an oil-based paint this is a latex based paint which makes it a lot easier to work with and i've found that with this one coat usually doesn't cover tan and bleed through but two does so <clears throat> so that's that's why we always put two coats especially on this raw wood but this is the first coat and that's how we remedy peeling wood all right, you guys, so we're going to show you guys the finished product after we peel bonded. So the guys are working on the roof right now.
So after our peel bond, this is kind of what you got. Again, you guys, it's uh, 120 years old, so. But yeah, that's <clears throat> kind of what you're looking for. I don't know if you can see that. That's two coats of peel bond, two coats of paint. Alrighty, guys. All right, guys, so that's how we deal with peeling paint uh, on exteriors of these really old houses like this. Do a lot of these really old repaints. Um, if you like the video, don't forget, don't forget to give it a like. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and it really helps out a lot, you guys. Don't forget, I have a new series coming out on how to paint an interior new construction from the very beginning to the very end. So don't forget to check that out. It's coming up soon, you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. See you on the next one.